after building the framework for the market model with price expectations, we can now solve it and develop a certain solution for it. This is the second video of this sequence where we are trying to mathematically understand a market model with price expectations. In its last step, we developed the two equations, that is the demand equation and supply equation. And we assumed that uh, there is price expectations involved in this process. Um, therefore, we can use those uh, demand supply equations. This is the demand equation that we have substituted on the left hand side of the equation. And on the right hand side, we have the supply equation without price expectations because we assumed that the supplier doesn't have any price expectations for the sake of ease. So substitution has taken place on both sides of the equation and now we are rearranging this equation. Since we can see this second order derivative right from the beginning, it uh, hints us to think about second order differential equation development. Therefore, we have rearranged these terms in a way where the second order derivative comes in the first place and then this first order derivative and then the terms in uh, their original form of price and then the constants are put on the right hand side. So after this, uh, we know that in the standard form of the first order differential equation, the first term, uh, uh, second order differential equation, the first term has a coefficient of 1. So this n is not acceptable. So we have to normalize the equation by dividing by throughout, uh, throughout by n. So when we divide throughout by n, this n will disappear from here and this will appear here as well as here as well as on the right hand side. So after uh, normalizing it, now we are able to compare it with the standard form and you can see the standard form is now being compared. Instead of y double bar, we have p double bar and instead of uh, y bar, we have p instead of a we have its value that is m over n and in place of p we have y in place of a2 we have this expression and b that is the constant is now equal to this term so we have extracted all these values and now we can survey them to decide that which one of the cases is holding here the first thing that we observe is the value of b to see if we are dealing with the homogeneous case or a non-homogeneous case. So here we have a non-homogeneous case because B is not equal to 0. And that is possible because alpha, gamma both are positive numbers and N is also some non-zero number. We have already assumed it because this shows the price expectations on the demand side. And there are um, price expectations on the demand, demand side that we have assumed. So it is non-zero. Whenever we solve three non-zero terms and uh, uh, we have a negative sign outside, it is likely that the answer will not be equal to zero. So if this is not equal to zero, it means that we are having a non-homogeneous case. And then in the non-homogeneous case, you know that we have to observe the value of A2. If it is not equal to zero, then we can use the first subcase. Now A2 is equal to the negative of these values. We know about beta, it's a positive value. We know about delta, it's also a positive value. We know about N that it is not equal to zero. So when it is not equal to zero and all of these values, when they get uh, simplified in this expression, they will appear um, not as zero. So this A2 will not be uh, zero value. It can be negative, it can be positive. And, you know, this is the explanation that I just told you. So A2 is also not equal to 0. This means that we can use the uh, first subcase in the um, particular e uh, function's uh, value. And that was equal to this. This is the formula that I can use here. So putting the value of B and putting the value of A2, we get this expression after cancellation of N. And this is the particular e um, integral of this uh, time path of the price expectation augmented market model.
uh, alpha, beta, delta, gamma, they're all positive constants, as we have been told in the beginning of this model. So the yp will be also a constant value, and it will also be a positive value because all of them are positive and being added. No subtraction is happening. So, and you know, you can't see any time variable here. So it's a stationary or static equilibrium. It is not the uh, moving equilibrium because there is no variable involved in it. So this is the update uh, in this video that we have found the equilibrium value, which is a static equilibrium of the uh, price expectations uh, augmented um, market model. And in the next video, we will see the various cases of the complementary function of this certain model. Thank you.